Made two bank welds today. Now x-rays up there fixing to shoot them two welds. But it's a Monday, it does not feel like a Monday. Anyway, get to go to the house here shortly and then uh, then go from there. Today is Tuesday. Pretty good day at work. Warm weather. Now I've got a situation here this morning. The uh, sink wouldn't drain. Uh, this is a first for me here in the camper. Uh, our kitchen sink has got airlocked before. It has a different valve than the uh, shower. There's three tanks. Shower water and the toilet water. That's two tanks. And then the kitchen sink has its own separate tank and different valve. There's three valves. And anyway, I can usually pull the the kitchen valve in and out a couple of times and it'll get unairlocked but I don't know if it's airlocked now or or if it's actually clogged so I've done been to Lowe's and got some uh got some tools got a plunger some kitchen sink it's supposed to be safe for all septic systems and then a snake that hooks up to a drill so we'll see what happens first we'll try the plunger and then uh probably the snake I guess Gotta love this camper life. Gotta love it. Oh no. Looky there. Would y'all just look at that? I honestly uh, cannot believe that. That is crazy. I'm glad it was this simple, but I really thought it was more than being airlocked, but just a little plunger, little kitchen plunger. How cute. Good, so maybe I can take this other stuff back. I really was leery of dumping this in the uh, camper drain because just because I've heard bad stories about bleach and uh, Drano or whatever, uh, stories that Kayla's told me that she's read online and stuff. So I really didn't want to have to pour that down the drain, but uh, simple fix, good deal. I did notice on our uh, the main drain coming out of the camper is like a like a three inch probably hole, but the kitchen sink comes out of like an inch and a half pipe into the it tees into the uh, the main drain down there. So I don't know if that's something to do with why it gets uh, vapor locked or what, but good deal, good to go. Right, right there, what we call a bell hole. Come on. You walk down there in, in your house shoes, and Yeah, I know that. We don't need no rubber or nothing. Okay, yeah. Now Wednesday, just got to the trailer. Absolutely fantastic weather. I talk about the weather a lot, don't I? I just love the sunshine. I love whenever the sun's shining and it's gorgeous and everything else, so time to put this in the underbelly. Ain't gonna need it no more. Salt for the snow. I say I won't need it no more, watch. I'll put it in the underbelly, then I'll end up needing it. It'll come snow here in West Virginia. <laughs> West Virginia. All right, man, that's on the belly the most. Just throw that right in there somewhere. That'll work for now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you just look at that? Golly. What a disaster. That's all right. We'll get her fixed up soon enough. Been having a few uh, questions. Everybody's wondering how I've been liking these throw goods. I absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. Now, I haven't worn them a lot this winter because they're still toed and they... My feet get cold, so I mean, I was gonna wait till this summer to do an actual, you know, review on them. But short story, yeah, they're comfortable.
made 1914. <laughs> Let me see your. Uh, we need a hammer? No, that little yeah. marker you got. I don't think you need I got a hammer it. on that one. Yeah, you can hammer it. It's got, it's I got don't a think pen. I would, though. And it is now Thursday, warmest day so far up here. It's got up to 78 degrees here. Gorgeous, sun shining, absolutely gorgeous. Wasn't that neat, that old center finder that Andy, Andy had on that piece of pipe? That was freaking cool. He got that in 1971. I think he said his dad got it in 1971 in uh, Wisconsin or Michigan, something like that. That was very cool, very, very cool mercury something tools like that that had a little needle in there that instead of a bubble like on the center finders you have nowadays it had a needle and mercury is what is what is in it i don't know anything about that i was asking andy uh before my time but i think that is very cool to see old tools like that uh still in use so super cool but good day at work made one weld one bank weld there we uh what we did was put them two sections together and they're they dug up the hill there. They had lots of rock to dig. They had already blasted it and uh, with dynamite several, I don't know when, prior to us moving in there. I had to dig up the rest of that hill and then uh, we'll we'll lower it in tomorrow. But anyway, so good day. I'm sitting in the truck now. I'm writing down. I write down every day. I write, uh, I got a calendar here. I write what we, how many hours we have we had that day, what time we left the right away, and what we did that day. So keep track of what we did that day what I filmed, just kind of, uh, and then I write it over here in this book just to have it in more than one place. This one, this book here is a little more detailed, little other personal things that go on or whatever I write in this booklet, but anyway, good to keep your time. Good day. I went to the grocery store, got me some boiled eggs, and uh, I'm going to go in here and take a shower. It's 5.45 now. Go in here, take a shower, rest up for the evening. Got a little bit of rain coming tonight, I think, but uh, other than that, good weather up ahead. A little bit cooler, I think. But that's how today went, so see y'all tomorrow. What's up guys, good morning. It is Friday, good old Friday. Just pulled up to the yard here, sipping on a little coffee. It's raining, well, it's not raining, but it's uh, sprinkling. If we get a little bit more rain, I might get to wear my old mud boots. I ordered some of them green lacrosse, uh, just regular like rubber boots. I put them on, they fit like a glove, oh my gosh. I didn't realize they fit so good. I've never been so excited to walk around in the mud before in my life. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, fun Friday. Here we go. All right, just got some exciting news. Well, for me, it's exciting. Gonna be laid off in two weeks from today. So I've never had that much of a notice for a layoff and I mean it could change you never know but uh I'm pretty sure our tie-in man is leaving to go tie in in Alabama on a job in Alabama he's leaving the 29th and this job's winding down anyway so they're gonna go ahead and cut us loose also that's usually how it works you get laid off with your crew but in this case the timing's just working out to where he's leaving anyway so I mean, it just, it just all works out to where we can go ahead and leave also. So I'm all excited about this morning. It's weird, you know, I'm not, I'm not used to having this notice. I'm ready to leave like in two days or less, but that's all right. Obviously I'll stay here and uh, get a couple more paychecks. That'll be good. But yeah, two more weeks will be Oklahoma bound. All right. They're about done digging. There's just a two joint section that goes in there. Up there yonder way. We'll walk back down this hill. Way back over yonder where 
Indian they were sitting by that skid set there. I was going to show you all this uh, primer cord. That's from Dynamite. It's hollow. It's like a little straw. But that's what that, uh, I think it's powder that runs through there to that dynamite whenever they blast. They must have blasted all this. This rock wall right here. All rock. That old ditch is rock. Pretty neat ordeal. There'll be a video on my channel coming up sometime in the next few weeks of uh, them drilling and blasting a section. So that'll be pretty cool. Look forward to that. Anyway, make this last well and then we'll go to the house. Hey, what's up guys? Just showed up to work. Today is uh, Andy's last day. He's gonna be with us. All right, there you have it. That was this week. A lot of work, a lot of pipelining, a little bit of camper issues, but everything's good to go. Good to go now. Andy's last day was today. There will be a video on my channel, Austin Ross, in a few weeks. I don't know exactly how long because I've got Day in the Life. It's kind of all backed up. There's like just a handful of them. I don't know how many, but there will be that a full video of Andy's last day on my channel in the next few weeks so be looking forward to that i mean super awesome to be able to work with somebody like andy but anyway that video will be on my channel shortly if you haven't already we have our leather patch hats back up for sale thank you for everyone that has ordered so far the winter stuff is still on sale i think they're i want to say 30 percent don't quote me on that but uh hoodies the beanies coffee cups i think all that stuff is on sale i don't know i know for sure the hoodies are I think 30% off but uh, so go get your winter stuff I know it's getting to be springtime but uh, uh, the winter stuff is for sale we're trying to we're trying to clear all the winter stuff out so we can get new products in so go check those out if you're interested and real fast comment below what products would y'all like to see in the industrial tradition store and what products would y'all like to see the soonest or or what products would you like us to carry for my brand, uh, Austin Ross. Uh, let us know in the comments, any suggestions, put them down in the comments. But I think that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for coming along with me this week. We will see y'all in our next video. Thank you for watching. We love you, be grateful, work hard, and have fun. Well, was one heck of a uh, last day, isn't it? They yeah. cooked for us and everything. Hey, tell me, let's, tell us about them smiley faces on your gloves there. You got a smiley face on each one of your gloves, huh? This is for good days. No, this is the bad days. This is the good days. Isn't there a story behind it, though? I can't yeah. remember. I'm working a building trade job.